OMG Nation. On today's episode, it's a review on the first manufacturing company, Unbeatable Men's Motorcycle Leather Vest. All right, so we're gonna start off with this. I have a 42 inch chest. This is a size medium. And as you guys can tell, it fits me pretty good. I got my trusty little notes here on my phone. Now, the first manufacturing company says this is a 1.3 to a 1.4 millimeter platinum naked cowhide leather vest. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this vest is pretty thick. I've had this vest for over a year now. I paid $260 for it. And I believe the first manufacturing company was running a sale of some sort, so I got a small percentage off. But this unbeatable vest. So this is one of the things that kind of drew me to this vest, is it has these two large pockets right here that, look, I guess you could put a cell phone in it. Let's see. Yeah, you put a cell phone in it, it almost closes. This is a pretty large cell phone. It's a Galaxy. But it's got the two snaps right here, and then on the side, First manufacturing company is calling this a concealed carry pocket. Now watch how deep this pocket is. Look at there. Now I'm touching the end of it. So from here, that's a pretty deep pocket right there, as you can tell. And there is a little piece of elastic in here that you can put the nose of something inside of to keep it from sliding around. So that's if you're a lefty. And the same thing over here with these pockets. You got the two snap button snaps right there. Same deal. So all the way down, right there. That's pretty solid, guys. Look at that. But I really liked, now see, I went without the collar, just the crew neck style, and the exposed zipper. But this zipper right here, it shows you the inside, right here. There is a full access panel right here to get into the back. There, and they call it their patent pending three zippered easy access system for patches and embroidery. So you can get into the bottom same way on the side, although I don't want to unzip that while that's down. But you can get in right here, same thing on this, on this side or if you need to sew patches on. Now, for me, this vest has been a vest that, that I haven't put any patches on, and, and I don't think I'm gonna put any patches on, but look right here how much room I have, you know, in the armholes. I could even put on a sweater. I've done that just a little bit. But same thing right here. The zipper goes from the bottom to the top, and from the left side all the way around to the right side, full length of the vest. I'll show you that in a second. Speaking of zippers, on this side and on this side as well, there is a handy zipper here. You put a wallet. And then there is a, another slot side zipper up here. I guess if you wanted to put, you know, I don't know, a snack for the day or something, you could put a snack in there. Pretty good size. So there you go. There you go right there. Pretty good size, pretty deep zipper on it. It also has a little air pocket vents right here. Can you see that? So a little vent hole here and a little vent hole here for this pocket. Let me show you the inside. So here's the opening right here where you can put the CE armor in and it's netted all the way down. Just a little piece of back armor, throw it in there, keep it safe. Again guys, what drew me to this vest 
versus all the vests that First Manufacturing Company has on their website are these pockets. I like the angle of these pockets. Now, here's the only thing that I've noticed with these angles. If you were a, a person that was going to put a patch, you're either going to put a patch that kind of, you know, if you're going to put it on top of the pocket and rest, it's going to kind of angle down with the patches. Or I don't know, you guys tell me out there if you happen to have this vest, what you guys think about if it just went straight across and it left a little gap between this top, this top of the pocket and this top of the pocket and your patch if it was leveled off. But as you can tell guys, this thing fits me snug. Again, 42 inch chest. Here's the important thing that I know you guys wanna know. How does this vest ride? How does it ride in the summertime? And how does it ride in the winter? I've been through all four seasons. We get all four seasons here in Tennessee. Well, it's a very thick vest, so we'll start off with the summer. It is hot, but here's what I noticed very quickly. It's hot, I reach up, it's got a really, really large, see this right here for the zipper, this handle for the zipper. So if you have on a pair of gloves, it's easy to grab that and pull it down. I would just simply vent it, and then I crack it open a little bit, man, I would cool off quick, and then zip it right back up. The only one negative is for some reason when I was when I sit down, this piece right here, and this is the absolute only negative that I could find. This little corner will dig in right here and kind of wear me out after a pretty long ride. But what I started doing is I just started kind of folding this at an angle this way, and I'd just sit there, and then when I zip it up, it has a tendency to point out versus point in like it was. So that's why that piece is kind of forward in. That's the only negative. I've been caught in a pretty good rainstorm with this vest and it did all right. Yeah, I just hung it up to dry. It was dry the next day. During the springtime, it feels great when the weather's kind of warming up, a little bit chilly. I throw on a sweater a little hoodie or something and put this on and it is very, very comfortable. Even with a 42 inch chest and the medium, look at that, I still got some space in here. So for me, look at that space right there. 42 inch chest, this is a thin shirt, this is a pretty tight shirt. The shirt I'm wearing is probably a medium. But it fits great, even with, like I said, even with the hoodie, it still fit great. Same thing in the fall. I could throw on a hoodie in the fall. I've actually thrown on a long underwear style shirt that comes all the way down to my wrist and then put a hoodie on top of it. And this was still, still good when the temperatures were dipping a little bit. But as you guys can tell, man, I have been a big fan of this right here in the wintertime. <clears throat> now, because of the size in the wintertime on this, if I can put on certain jackets that I have that if the jacket's not too bulky and it still fits pretty solid, but because of the sizing and I didn't want to go up a size, I've done that before in a vest and I just didn't like the way it looked on me. I didn't like the way that it rode on me. Um, or I, I've done that before in a jacket where I got the jacket or a vest and it felt like it was too big and I felt like the wind was grabbing it and moving around. That has not been the case with this first manufactured unbeatable vest at all. Like I said, it fits me nice. Still, I still have room for more clothes in a medium. They call it true to size fitting, and I agree with them. Even sitting down, man, in this vest, it's a great position. Like I said, it doesn't bunch up. The only thing that was getting me was that. But since I pulled it out, no problems. It is a very, very, very comfortable vest. You want to know my final verdict on this first manufacturing leather vest? On a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a 10. To me, this vest, the unbeatable, just like the name says, it's unbeatable. I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And OMG Nation, keep it old school. Thanks for watching, everyone.
Oh, this is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.